Hey, what's up guys? Drew here over at Rev Hiker Outdoors, and I've got a video for you today that I promised uh, a while ago. <clears throat> and um, what it is, is uh, you guys know that I uh, did an initial review on the To-Go Systems Trifecta, and then I did uh, an overnighter in it at uh, low 40s, like 42 degrees, right in that neighborhood, and I've been waiting to do a rain test on it. So what I wanted to do today was like an absolute worst case scenario rain test or water test because uh, a lot of people have been asking me how waterproof really is it. So I think in a tarp configuration it's going to do better than in a bivy configuration because worst case scenario is that you know you get caught out and uh, maybe you have just this and you're just curled up on the ground uh, trying to hide yourself uh, from the elements and so between the ground soaking up and you having contact with the ground and then the rain coming down on top of you, I think that's about the absolute worst. And I think the only weak spot on this as far as rain resistance is going to be the zipper, um, it, you know, for being on the ground. Like I said, I'm not doing this in a tarp configuration just yet uh, because you can expect it to shed water much easier uh, in a tarp configuration because the water just will roll off. Uh, and if you just hit it with a light waterproofing spray, I think I think this would be a, a tarp, you know, that would be good for days. Uh, but the ground configuration is the worst because water is going to be pooling and uh, in different spots and able to soak through. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to zip this thing all the way up. I'm going to throw some paper products in there to see, uh, you know, if it's getting wet. And I'm just going to go lay it out in my yard as it rains all day today. And I'm getting ready to go out there. So... Stay tuned guys, I'm going to go out and check it once uh, an hour or every couple hours to see how it's doing. So uh, stay tuned, I'll get a shot of it out in the yard so you guys can see what kind of conditions we're in. Okay guys, so <clears throat> there it is, that's the uh, trifecta and what I've done is I've stuffed it. You can see a little bit of lump in there. But I put some of my clothes in there and then I put uh, I put my Thermarest self-inflating pad in there on the bottom. Put the clothes on top of it. Uh, and the reason I put the thermarest in there is because that's going to detect anything coming up through the uh, from the ground side because um, the outer covering shows up water really easy. So that's an easy way for me to just pull that thing out of there and check for water. I've also put tissues and uh, some toilet paper, you know, because they, uh, man, if they get wet, you know it. Uh, and I put them all around, and you can see that uh, I've weighted it down with some 2 by 6s just to keep it from... Uh, taking flight in my backyard because I do like this thing and I want to keep it. Okay guys, so I just went out and did the one hour checkup and I found like some big pools of water sitting on top, uh, pooling underneath the two by sixes and I mean it's just it's been steadily raining the entire time and um, <clears throat> so I went out there and checked and I opened it up and I stuck my hand underneath and I didn't feel anything, there was nothing on the thermarest uh, and none of the, the tissue paper or the um, any of that stuff was wet. The sweater that I threw in there and the other stuff, that wasn't wet. So, so far at one hour of water pooling on there, uh, it's dry so far. So stay around, we'll check back in. Okay guys, so we're a little over two hours now and uh, what I, what I kind of thought would happen did happen. There is some water getting in around the zippers. So there are a couple little uh, drips of water that have kind of worked their way down in. However, when you go up underneath and you kind of feel the bottom of the fabric and you look at all the other stuff, none of that is wet. Uh, so, kind of right now, if you're just going to use it on the bivy side of things and you're just totally exposed, uh, you got about two hours before it starts coming in through the zippers. Um, I think you could uh, help that a lot and extend that with some, some good waterproofing spray, but the fabric at this point the the actual Tyvek the material uh, is still holding up pretty strong so I'm gonna keep this test going and wait till it soaks through the top or the bottom uh, before we can uh, before I before I call it so uh, like I said a little over two hours and the zippers have begun to leak but the material is still holding up so stay tuned okay so I just got done checking after a little over three hours and um, there is a significant amount of water in there uh, due to water coming in around the zipper um, because it's just pooling with the zipper kind of on top and it's just after it's soaked through now it's it's coming in um, and then there's one seam near the maybe six eight inches from the edge 
and water has started to come through that seam in the actual material um, that is on the bottom uh, uh, of the, uh, the to-go systems there. Uh, but anyway, um, I also uh, I'm I'm just I'm still leaving it out there because it still hasn't begun to come through the actual material. So worst case scenario, you're out here in this thing. Um, you know, as, as just a standalone bivy in an emergency situation, you know, a few hours of, of pretty heavy rain, which we've been having very steady and, and somewhat heavy at times, um, you know, you're going to start to get wet. Uh, however, if, if you're using this as a canopy, as a tarp, or something like that, as like an A-frame pitched shelter, you know, from what I can see, there, there's, no, there's no water coming through the actual material, even uh, in the areas where it's pooling. So uh, to use this as a shelter would be great. To use it as a bivy just out in the open, not under any trees, not under any cover, just as a standalone bivy, yes, you're going to get water through. Uh, but in a, in a canopy sense, if you're using it as a shelter, I, I, think, the, I think the material holds up uh, pretty well. I'm going to continue to check this throughout the day, and I will check back in. I'm not going to check back in until I see that it's actually soaking through and, and coming through the actual material itself because uh, that's really what I'm concerned about at this point because I would never use this as just to curl up in a ball in the middle of a field in a rainstorm. Uh, it's kind of goofy to do. But what I will be using this is as a canopy um, on top of, I'll be using it as a bivy in the hammock and then a canopy over the hammock. I have two of them now. And uh, so anyway, I'll get back to you when it finally does come through, so stick around. Okay guys, so after uh, just over five hours, I went and, uh, and I checked the bag, and I just started to feel like a little bit uh, of seepage through the top. Uh, still nothing on the bottom, but in the places where the water had pooled and had been sitting there for hours and hours, uh, it had started to seep through. So, um, you know, like I said, worst case scenario, the actual fabric will give out with pools of water in it, uh, around the five hour mark and it, it had just started uh, you know if you had it in a canopy configuration I, I I think you could leave it up the entire night in heavy rain and it'd be fine because it would mostly uh, beat off but um, the you know the, the best thing to do with that is just hit it with a little waterproofing but uh, my daughter is now playing a game uh, so anyway that about does it guys uh, that's that's the end of the test and I uh, hope you enjoyed it. I hope this was a little enlightening. I'm still going to use this. Uh, you know, it failed in the way that I thought it would fail. The, the zippers let some water in and that was it. Uh, but I'm just going to go forward. I'm going to spray mine with a little bit of uh, Kiwi Camp Dry or something of that nature. And uh, it's, it's definitely going to be my uh, a tarp that I'm going to use for my hammock. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope this helped. And uh, go ahead, if you are looking to get a Tugo Systems Trifecta, I'll put the uh, link in the description below. Uh, as far as I know, you can still only get them on uh, Brian's website. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe. God bless, and I hope this review helped you out.